Did you know that Arizona built a monument to a Muslim cowboy from Syria who used to ride on a camel? You see, in 1763, this is what America looked like. The British controlled the lands to the east, the French were in the middle, and the Spanish occupied the west. And in 1775, the Americans began the Revolutionary War, gaining independence from the British and becoming their own republic. They then expanded, taking control of the other British lands to the west until they reached the Mississippi River. France at the time had just experienced their own revolution and was in no shape to be managing a territory so large and far away. So they agreed to sell it to the Americans in 1803 for only 15 million dollars. Soon after Mexico had a war with Spain and gained their independence and then America had a war with Mexico and took over the rest of the lands making the US what it is today. And it was during this last phase of the expansion that the Americans started to see geography they weren't used to. Up until that point Americans had worked the farms or sailed the rivers or hunted the animals in the forests but in this part of America there it was just miles and miles of desert, something they had never experienced before. So they went and asked for help from the people who knew the deserts best, the Muslims. In 1855, they went to the Ottoman Empire and bought 33 camels and hired some Turkish and Arab cameleers to bring them to Camp Verde in Arizona. The camels made it across the ocean in good health, so the Americans went back and bought another 41 camels. And this is where they found Philip Tedro. He was a half-Arab, half-Greek camel breeder who was born to a Christian family, but eventually converted to Islam, went to Hajj, and then changed his name to Haji Ali. The Americans butchered the pronunciation of Haji Ali, calling him High Jolly, which I think is kind of cute, actually. Anyway, Haji Ali hired a group of Greek Ottomans to join him in the US, and together they joined the Arabs and Turks, making the United States Camel Corps. Their job was to transport people and cargo between Texas and California, traversing the harsh deserts and getting everything and everyone to the other side in one piece. Something that could not have been done by horse or mule, as they could not survive in the desert. The experiment was a success, and the states were now one step closer to becoming united. In fact, it was so successful that the commander of the Corps actually ordered another thousand camels from the Ottoman Empire to be shipped to the US. But then in 1861, civil war broke out and the program was ditched and the cameleers were disbanded. The Confederate Army even captured Camp Verde at the beginning of the war and used many of the camels for transportation. That was until the Union Army took it back four years later. During that time, Haji Ali sold his services to mining companies near the Colorado River. He became an American citizen in 1880 and got married and eventually had two kids before passing away in 1902. By then he had become a living legend in Arizona and a few years later the governor built a monument to him where he had died in Quartzsite, Arizona. And to think there was a time when Muslims were driving camels in the deserts of the Wild West. Like a follow for more Muslim facts.